I'm working the camera, guys, so that's why you see me leaning in there. How are you guys? And thank you for stopping by and uh, having a, a little visit with me here. This is a live stream, and a lot of folks out there are a little confused between just what is a live stream and what is just a regular uh, DVD. Well, live streaming is a way for whoever, whatever artists you're watching, for them to connect with the folks out there. It's uh, live, it's real, uh, real time, and there's a lot of folks that are shut-ins. Uh, they just can't get out, they can't go to workshops, and or it's, it can be rather expensive to fly and, and go to a one-on-one -on -one or, or just a, a, a workshop where you have several, maybe 15, 20 people in the class. It gets pricey to go out. So this live streaming is a way for me to connect with you guys out there now. Catherine is sitting. Uh, you can actually maybe see her out there in the mirror there. <laughs> and she will be um, seeing the uh, questions coming across, streaming across. Oh, what is that? Do you have a mic on? Uh, are you not? Oh, I thought I was listening. Are you guys hearing me out there? Do you have a mic on? Oh, maybe that's why you're not hearing me out there. <laughs> hey guys, I forgot to put the mic on. Now I bet you can hear me. Um, <laughs> this is what old age is like. I write on a piece of paper to make sure I have the mic on and this is what, I, what happens. I'm old. What can I say? Let me say again, because you might not have heard it. This is a live stream. That means uh, Kathy is off on the side and she will be seeing the questions come across and she will relay them on to me and uh, I will uh, try to answer them. Yep. Okay, DD, thanks. <laughs> you can hear me now. Now there's a lot of, I have to repeat what I said before, there's a lot of folks that can't get out to workshops or shut-ins just can't get out. Uh, to attend a workshop. So this is a way for me to connect with people and it's a way for you to ask questions. And uh, I can't see the screen all the time because I'll be painting up here, but Catherine is off on the side. You can see her in the mirror there. <laughs> anyway, uh, when the questions come through, uh, she'll uh, say, hey, so-and-so is asking this, or so-and-so is asking that, or hi to you, or hi whoever's on there. And this is what live streaming is all about, guys. It's not just a DVD, straight across instruction. So she will be asking questions, and a lot of folks don't understand how live streaming works. Well, that's how it works, and Catherine is doing her job on the side to watch all the questions coming through, because again, I can't see them all. I, once in a while, I'll catch one or two, but she'll see them and she'll say, hey, so-and-so is asking this or that. So that's what live streaming is all about. Let's take, no, oh, let's take a look at the picture here, the painting. I did this painting last, weeks several weeks ago. There it is. It actually even got lost. <laughs> it went bye-bye. But it's back now on Facebook, YouTube. The uh, audio might not be uh, as good as it should be. Uh, it, right now, I think the audio is coming through just fine for you. There's the little birdie. I'm going to put this guy in. And here's a photo. Now, this photo is not the same as this one, but I'm just using this for color. Yes. <laughs> Grayscale. Oh, I've shared on my page. Dakota Rose is watching. <laughs> I'm from Columbia, Isabel. Okay, let's see if we can uh, see what we're doing here. Let me show you the palette ah, that we have. Palette, 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 palette. Now here, okay, let me back up a little bit. There's the colors. 
<laughs> I'll name these colors off as I go through the painting, but maybe, you know, there's ochres and sienna. Some of it I mixed, uh, that's burnt sienna and uh, a little white. Uh, thalo yellow green, we have yellows, oranges, greens, cad red light, uh, king's blue, which is a really uh, color that Catherine loves. And we here we have a nice dark, I have some crimson and a little touch of black with the crimson. Never use black straight. Uh, crimson adds a little uh, life to your paint, whereas uh, black can be a little El Darko. Oh, and then again, uh, I just use turp. Some folks uh, prefer 50% uh, turp and 50% linseed oil. Or I like just turp. Uh, sometimes I'll use the other, but not too often. Now, I'm looking at the uh, picture up here, and there's the bird. I'm going to take this black and crimson, and I had, oh, it's not Kong's blue, it's King's blue. <laughs> Kong, it sounds like that, uh, King Kong. Kong, watch out, here comes Kong blue. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Uh, a dark. Now I'm going to take a little Prussian blue and kind of come in here. I'm using a little uh, round brush, guys. You can see. How close can you really? get in before it goes out of focus? What's that? How close can you get in with that camera before it goes out of focus? Oh, well, it's let's... not real close. How about that? Maybe. Going, uh, wait a minute, I'm going to come up a little bit. You can see this is live. That's better. Now let's go in a little, I think, uh, that's better. how about that? That's, still, that's better, okay. <laughs> that's about it, that's it right there. Now I'm going to put, now I, I like to work from dark to light. And if the paint doesn't come off your brush, you notice how I just kind of wiggled it to, to get the paint to come off. A little bit of turp. I just dipped into the turp a little. And it thins the paint down nicely. And he has a little dark tail. Painting hummingbirds, they're very forgiving guys. Now you see the, the black I have has a little touch of crimson, and you can see here the crimson coming out a little bit more, which is really neat. Yeah. Let's make it uh, a little dark back here. I, I like to go around, get as many darks in here as possible. What size and shape is this? Oh, I know. It's a, it's a small liner. Small what? It's, it's a small round. Round. Not a liner. Okay. <laughs> you can, even though there's going to be a different color up here, I'm, I'm going to use some turp and just go after the value of that color. That it's going to be more green and green up in here. Oh, a plane going over. Now, that beak on the photo has more orange. I'm going to make mine, taking the black and crimson, more a little bit, bit darker. And I have him dipping down into the flower. I'm going to take this and bring it on up. I rest my hand on the canvas. It's a little hard to see your hands a little in the way, but I know it's hard to paint. How about that? I know. That's one of the things about doing this stuff and keeping your hand out of the way. See how I come out? How, I, how I'm stroking it like this? Yeah. Now you see how the dark, this is important, guys. The dark and the halftone is holding the bird together. So you get a good idea of just what's going on. I'm into the turp, 
I'm cleaning my brush off. And I'm going to just come up here with just some chirp. Your financial advisor is watching. Is he? <laughs> Our financial advisor is watching. Mm -hmm. Make us money. <laughs> Dan. Dan. Thought he'd be out riding his bike today. It's a beautiful day here. Yeah. Reinforce that dark. So the whole little birdie has little feet sticking out. This whole little birdie is put in with our dark and our middle tone. Maybe not that. And you can see how it's going in. This is a good way to check your drawing out. I'm, I'm cleaning the brush, taking some turp, because the, the wings are transparent. Oh yeah, look at that. And here. Don't make painting a chore. Don't make painting look like, oh, you hear that chairing, that's my... What color is that again? That's black, yeah, that's black and crimson. Now you can see it's a little red up in here, being that's the crimson coming out. I'm going to take a paper towel. Now look how I'm going to rub through it. You see it? And the towel, I twist the end of it to make sort of a little point. So I get in there, you might, my hand might be in the way. You see it happen? Because his wings? Just, no, the yeah. paper towel is dry. And I'm just kind of hitting it very lightly to get those wings transparent. Even though I might go back in with some color. Yeah, real transparent, they're kind of semi yeah. On the oh, look at this. See how I'm patting? Oh, you can't. <laughs> you can't see through my hand. But I'm making that point again. Yeah. I don't know how I can do it so you can see it. But there it is. Anyway. Now, we can go for color. We have it all figured out. Let me get up here. So there's no guessing. That wing, it kind of comes over to this side a little. Picture. Yeah, well the picture is not the same. I'm just using the picture for color oh. and I used the uh, another different pattern. Oh, okay, because that's confusing to people because I'm looking at the pattern and it was real fat. Yeah, well, yeah he is. Explain that again to people that came in a little late. Okay, this picture is not the same as this guy. This is a different pattern. I like the way he was turning and coming in. So, but I'm using this picture just for the color that you see. Oh, it doesn't, you, you can see, this is very, the, the birds are very forgiving. You can use different colors and just so you're someplace in the ballpark. We're going to take yellow mixed with phthalo yellow green. And I'm going to put some of that up here. Now, I, I, when I put it on, I just sort of dot dot. Or maybe kind of pull it here and there. See it go? Now, painting these little hummers, because they come in all different colors. It's very forgiving. I'm going to take some, just some uh, yellow, very bright yellow. And pat that in. Okay. I was really honored uh, here in Sedona. We have a hummingbird society, and the lady that runs it is is giving a talk about hummingbirds, and I was really thrilled that she chose one of my paintings to show it to the folks that are in the audience. 
That was a nice compliment coming from... Oh, she's handling the jiquei, hummingbird jiquei's in her gallery. Yeah, she shows our hummingbirds in her gallery and chose one of my uh, jiquei's. Well, actually, she has an original to show folks. So if you're watching out there, thank you. Look at that, go in. <laughs> Here's where we can have fun. I'm going to take some, oh, this is King's Blue. Let's see what that's going to do. King, I know, it's a color that a lot of you probably never heard of. King's Blue, which is not doing much of anything. Let's take some Cerulean Blue and White. Yeah, that's better. Okay, Pat Pat. And I'm going right over the dark, pat patting it down into that dark. Okay. Sometimes you, you have to let your painting dry up a little bit. But we don't have time to do that. So that the blue goes on without mixing too much. So now, if you're going to be a painter, it does take patience. You just can't rush through this stuff. And it's, many times it's just that little extra effort, little extra time, that little percentage of time that you take that, uh, makes it happen. Joan Westmoreland. Joan is our local actress here in Sedona. Does some really cool stuff. Let's get another foot coming in. But well, he's really coming in there. Darken it up here. Sometimes it's just a stroke here and there that makes the big difference. A little dark back in here. Here. Gonna fatten up that tail a little bit. Pull it together more. <laughs> Actually, you can use whatever colors you want in here. Because again, they come in so many different colors. Here's Sienna and, and uh, a touch of white because there is sort of a gray. Doesn't show up too much, but you'd have to let it dry. But you get the idea of it going in. And I see a little light. Right in here. Yes. Clean my brush. I'm going to pick up that crimson and black. A little heavier on the crimson. It is a little dark right here. It comes down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my daughter Amber is here. Amber used to be a hairdresser. And so just before I came on, she goes, Daddy, I have to trim your beard. <laughs> so you don't look like a street person. So she, she made me beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for letting me. Yeah. Hmm. I think we've got a little bit too much crimson on those wings, so let's get... I'm going to take Sienna and white. Mm -hmm. And... Probably have to let this dry to get that color right in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe take some white. That's better on that side. 
Uh -huh. And I'm going to bring some of that color down. Ooh, that blue eats up everything. Blue's a strong Can color. Turquoise on your palette? Yeah. Okay. Why it needs turquoise? Well, I'm just saying turquoise and um, yellow, yellow, green. Don't we have questions coming in? Nobody's asking anything. No, not really. Uh, lots of people commenting, um, saying they're watching from all over. Olivia, Olivia Power. Olivia. A certified teacher in Ireland. Hey, Olivia. Those wings are not that happy with. Yeah. Huh. Oh, Olivia, you're late. Many times you can take a paper towel. And just starting from where, I know my hand's going to be in the way, I know. I'm going to come in this way. And I'm taking paint off. Hands in the way, I can't help it. Trying to get more of a translucent look to the wings. Well, oh, that's better. Remember, uh, they're, hey Olivia, these wings are, are transparent. And of course, you know, uh, their wings go, look, a little there, uh, go very fast. But if you just paint them blur, it never looks right. But that would be correct if you did, because you can't really see their wings. So I'm wiping some of that paint off. Again, the hand. Sometimes you can't, the only way you can get the right color, or I should say right value, is by wiping back and letting the paint, most of the paint just absorb into the paper towel. So you get that more translucent look. I don't know what happened there. All right. Hmm. Let's take more of that black. I know I'm spending a lot of time on this old guy, but sometimes they'll flop in and sometimes they'll give you some trouble. Isn't that what painting's all about? There's an old saying. The person, the artist person, that is just a beginner, just a beginner who really doesn't know that much about what they're doing, has more fun painting because they don't know anything. Anything that looks like anything, they're happy with. Mm -hmm. They're more free. Yeah, they're freer. They're more, they have freedom. Yeah. Freedom and fun. And so, then you progress and you, struggle. and you get better, 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 and you keep striving to be better. And it's you, then all of a sudden frustration comes in. Oh, I'm so frustrated. She's painting a dog right now and she's having problems with it. And your voice, she's listening to your voice and it's calming her. And she says he's coming together. The dog's coming together. The, oh, the, her she's painting? She's painting a dog and she's having problems. How can she be painting and watching this at the same time? She's painting a dog and listening to you. Oh. And she said your voice is calming and her, her dog is coming together, listening to your voice. Really? Yeah, that's why women in my life, in the past, I've, I've always put them to sleep. <laughs> I'd be saying something, and they're going. <laughs> yes. Well, there you are. That's what I. I have. It's called selective hearing. You only hear me when you want to hear me. Ah. Okay, and there's a little highlight in that eye. Mm. Oh, 
several highlights. See if you can get him really close. I don't know if you can. Um, after it's all done, it might go blurry. I don't know. Kind of I don't know if I want him to get real close. Looks better far away. Then you can't see all my mistakes. You tell me doing little strokes, little tiny strokes with just the tip of the brush. Yep. Not heavy handed. No. Huh. I get quiet when I'm doing this. Again, you, uh, there's a lot of this stuff. I'm not happy with the wing color, but I can't change it. it it's too wet. You put too much crimson in it. Yeah, it got too purple. I should have told you when you were starting to do it that you were going to have problems with the crimson. So you didn't tell me? No. Why? You letting me suffer? I'm trying not to talk too much. <laughs> I know you, cause you got chewed out for that, didn't you? Some folks out there. Cause they didn't know what a live stream. Yeah, they got on Catherine cause she was talking so much. But that's what she, you, mm -hmm. Catherine's supposed to do. She's not doing her job out there. She doesn't rely relay information. Those are people that didn't know what a live stream was. And I know. I know. Well, technology, you know, it's all the way it is is the way it is out there. A couple there. people said they love the, the, they love the wing color. The, the wing? Uh -huh. They like it? Yes, Jane does, Dee Dee does, um, Judy Fernandez and Wing. Yeah, does. you're just being kind to me. Well, and Jane says it gives it a fairy-like feeling. Really? But that's better, adding some white to it. Yeah, I love it now. You do? Yeah. I have Catherine approves now. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, we're and my daughter Amber is visiting here from California. I told them. She did my. She trimmed my hair. She trimmed my beard because she used to be a hairdresser. And when I sign off here, you'll see how pretty I look. Yes. <laughs> Oh, right. You know, that looks not too shabby, not too bad. Little guy sitting up there. I think what I'm going to... Hmm? Hi, Judy. Hi, Gail. Hi, Judy and Gail. Linda Idleway. Somebody help me out there. <laughs> okay. So now you guys know what live streaming is all about. Questions you ask and we try. Kathy sits on the side and relays them on to me. Yes, but nobody's asking anything. Are you all, are you guys out there? <laughs> okay, now I think what I'm going to do, I've got some flowers here. See these? I like the color blue. Yeah, where would that? Sometimes I'll hold, these are silk flowers, and sometimes I'll just hold these up to a painting to see, look how that blue works with those colors. Can you see it? Even the Hummer is picking up some. King's blue. You like that blue? It's King's blue and. Um, King's blue? And what's that gray that we like? Oh no, I might oh, not have it. Gray. Look at the green leaves going. This is what feeds your imagination. It feeds it. You can't just paint from your what you think you know. You're not going to be creative. And being creative is what this stuff's all about. I don't want to sit up here and just do a normal little cutesy poosy little something that resembles a flower. You don't even know what kind of flower. It just looks like a flower. <laughs> That's just a lazy way of painting. I want to take some of this because I, I see it in there. I see this in there. Can you see some of that coming out of here? Let's try that. Let's play.
<laughs> if it doesn't work, then I'm screwing up in front of all you guys. Okay. Let's take... Now this is a, a filbert, small filbert. And this is a good example of how to paint a grouping of flowers without actually painting every single flower. Because back here, I'm going to, I put a little Prussian with it, but you see how I, can you see how I hit it? I'm not, what you'll do, or not maybe you, but many folks, think petal by petal, they put this petal in, that petal, and pretty soon it's all full of these little wagon wheels up here. I'm going to put more Prussian with it. Get a little dark. Ah, now look, sometimes I'll use this side. Notice how I'm just bump, 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 bump. I like it. Bump, 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 bump. Yes, now we have a grouping. You see it? I'm not making each and every petal, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking that these petals come, they all head towards the center of that. Maybe a little darker right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now this is the middle tone. Maybe a little dark here and there. But basically, middle tone. Here's a little more that Prussian and King's Blue. And another one here. Notice the side, because some of the petals are foreshortened, and I just sort of hit it in there. The outside edge is also very important that it's not round. <laughs> I know. Look at that. Bum, bum, bum. I don't know why people just don't get. See, we're not painting each and every little flower. We're painting a feeling, just like these are. Uh, this a feeling of roses. A feeling. A feel. If you can get that feeling, oh boy, you're cooking. There's the dark. <laughs> Uh, a little more up in here. Watch your outside design that it has sort of a, a nice flow to it. Maybe one of these came way out here. Just a wild little guy running away from the rest of the pack. Donald Hardy, how are you? Boy, a lot of folks watching. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. Maybe uh, way back here. So you're just, what you're doing here is forget their flowers. I'm just looking at the color. Uh, what? The colorful you had. When Gary did part one of this painting, he did the whole drippy background oh, on camera. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Joanne was saying, sometimes can you show the whole show background, just background, just the drippies and stuff? Oh, yeah. And I said, you did part one on Facebook. Yeah, and actually they can see this painting on our Facebook page and YouTube. And YouTube. The only thing is the audio isn't that great, though uh, we did have help he with that. JD, did JD it. helped us with that, but good thing. I'm going to take a little of our Prussian and just find a little center and a couple of these. I haven't put the light in yet. The painting is nice and dry, so it's really taking the color nicely. I'm going to take a little sap green. Maybe there's a little... Can you highlight a little more on, this blue, on some of those blue flowers? Yeah. Catholic wants to make sure I highlight them. Yeah, yeah. I can only see what's on what's on my iPad. I can't oh, okay. see the real painting, so I don't know if it's highlighted. Or oh, not. okay. It doesn't look like some of them need to be more highlighted. Now, here's a little trick, guys. I'm going to use my finger, so because you don't want these flowers to look like they were pasted on there. Since our background is dry, I don't, I can't work it in to the wet, but I'm going to take and throw some of these edges out of focus. And let it fuzz out. 
especially in here. Joanne said she tried the drippy background and it was horrendous and she washed it all off. Really? <laughs> That's how you learn the one I said practice. Oh. Really? Is okay. Hostel on here? Hale Tostel here is in a first certification program in Germany. Really? And he's the one that gave us the blue vase. Oh, hey! Yeah, we have that blue I vase. I love that blue vase, Harold. That's part of our uh, collection here. It's beautiful. Now look at this, guys. This is so important. You see how I lost that edge? Don't want everything sharp. There's a good rule of thumb that every hard edge is opposed by a soft edge. Right. It's not hard, hard, or even soft, soft. Now, now it's, it's starting to sit into the painting. We were talking just a minute ago about those drippies that I did. Maybe I'll put one in just to give you, and then I'll go back up and play up there. Oh, Justin is coming. Um, Justin. Mm -mm. On the phone. Okay. The R. This is that little filbert I was using up top. We're talking drippies, and some of you probably didn't get to see it. Let's take a little phthalo yellow green. I'm going to put it right here. Then I'm going to take some chirp on my brush and push it. Now watch. Can you? I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it running? Eh, maybe not. I'm going to get down there because this is important for you to see. Now, drippies aren't for everybody, but I found, because I do show my work in the fine, fine art gallery here in Sedona, that when I do this drippy stuff, those are the paintings that sell. Look at this. Now, I'm going to just hit it with some turp. Can you see it? You see it running. Let's do a little more over here. Let's really get more turp to emphasize that. You see it go? Look at that one go. You see it? And don't mess with it. People get in there with a blender and they think they can do better and they can't. Just let nature do it. There it goes. Let it go. Let it go. It's so much fun. And don't worry about the people that go that are negative. Oh, my little kid can do that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it go. Try these in your paintings. Even uh, Kathy did a landscape uh, with some drippies that were, uh, that's also in the show, that's really nice. Let's do another dark here. Bring the dark. So you see how it brings that? Let's look at that. Boom. Get it in there. Bump, bump. Put some leaves back in now. <laughs> doing the whole painting all over it. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to show everybody how this works. I know, it's great. And chirp. Don't, now it takes guts. There it goes. Now the dark going over the top of the light sets the light behind everything. That blue up there. What if we repeat it here? Boom. This is called echoing. We echo color. Look at it go. Boom, boom, boom. Experiment and play with this thing. Go over the top with color, even if it's gaudy. Or if it's, everything's a learning experience. And don't worry about it. Just get it on there and do it. Play. You can always change it. Ah, look at that. Little crimson in there. Maybe. Let me see. Oh, if I don't have a liner brushed in here, I'll use this one. Or a little dark with some crimson. You should have one on this where a whole bunch of new brushes are next to you. There's a liner. That's okay. I got it. Oh, back. Uh, right there in back of you here. I know. That's okay. Look at it go. What if we took... Here's a zinger, guys. This is a zinger. 
Watch it happen. Cad red light. Takes guts to use cad red light. Ah, can you see it? Oh, picks up the color of that bud. Yeah, terp. It's just an accent. People go, well, what is that? It's just color. Why is it there? It's there because it's, it looks good. It's there because it adds energy to your painting. Yes, look at it. Clear turp over the top. A little color coming in here, just to kind of hit it. Now that could be a baby bud, who knows? Hmm? What's that? Oh. Can you see it? Now that color that I just put in, let me go to the camera and come on up with it. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm wrapping my things around everything here. You see how that red that I just put in ties in with the bud? Mm -hmm. Or that little flower? Yes. Picking up my notes, falling all over the place. Yes! Now look. <laughs> that really looks cool. We got that. Then the eye comes up to that one. Up to that one. And then to that. It says boom, boom, boom. Boom. So it, it just adds all that wonderful energy to your You're painting. Echoing, the color. echoing, echoing, echoing. Very important. I like that. Very well balanced. I don't know. I think if you don't like what you're doing, paint for yourself. If nobody likes it, well, that's their problem. Don't try to paint to please people. And don't paint to make money. That's what I said. Don't to paint, paint to make money. Because you be the best you can and the money will find you. I know because I'm proof to that. Don't just paint down to students to make a buck. It, it, it's, it, students, if somebody comes along that does a better job, they're going to leave you. Your security as a painter is being the best at what you do. I don't care if it's flowers, landscapes, portraits, seascapes, whatever. Be the best. Now, I'm going to come back up here. See the, the highlights? Let's see what we can do. So what you do when you're painting a grouping is you pick out, maybe there'll be a petal here. This is a small filbert. One there. Uh, don't work too wet. That means don't not too much turp on there. Yeah, highlights on that. Some of them. There. Might be a little on the wet side. I'm wiping the brush. And maybe another one here. And here we fake, 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 fake it in, fake it in, and those lights just sort of blend into nothing. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. And it's a light touch. Oh, I'm barely hitting the canvas and ooh, look at it go. Look at it fading. Some of the petals are catching light, some aren't. And you see this grouping happening. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> I know. Oh, hey, I'm going to tell you. There were years and years went by when I didn't know what I was doing. I really didn't. <laughs> and now, all of a sudden, things are coming together and, and I'm trying to share with you guys what I've learned over the years it's to save you some time. So you don't have to struggle to get to where I'm at here. Can you see the feeling? Mm -hmm. And it's not so strong that it's going to be distracting from the rest of our painting. What if, so painting is full of 
What if <laughs> I take a little orange with that white? Maybe. You know, you don't know it's in there, but it's in there. Orange complements blue. I learned from the old masters. I know they're not here, <laughs> but you can find plenty of their prints around. Books, prints, what, uh, whatever. And uh, learn from them, especially Renoir. Oh, God, what he did. Painting out there in uh, his garden. Yes, yes, and don't overdo. Sandy said you never answer her. Hmm? No. I'm talking to Amber. Yeah, she's really Who's that? Sandy. Amber, she's got her own thing going at it. Oh, you're answering these. Who's answering these people? Are there people? I am most of the time. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to take some cadre light and pop that bud. Now that it's dry, I can look at that. You see it? Boom. Yes. I'm going to hit that. Boom. Yes. <laughs> now you don't want to boom, boom too much, guys. Okay. I'm wiping my brush. Remember, the last thing you do is the first thing people see in your paintings. Yes. I'm going to pick up some, my little brush and some white. And pick up little accents. This is the negative space that's found behind your flowers. Now this painting, I'm going to leave it up on our Facebook page. And you can also find it on YouTube. And part I, one of it, too. And part one will be up there, too. Always, our live streams are on our Facebook and YouTube. And Catherine's paintings, her pay, her DVDs are... Her live streams. And her live stream. Or just your live stream? Or do you have any... You have DVDs on the... I don't think one's for sale. Mm. Live streams are always up on our Facebook and YouTube. Okay. Well, let's back up and see what we have. Ooh, thank you, Sandy. Oh, look at that painting. <laughs> you turn it around this way. Yes. This painting's available for sale. Oh, how much? Up there, they can message you. Mm hmm? They can message you for that. Oh, okay. You can email me. Uh, it won't be too pricey. Well, tell them it's for sale. What? Oh, okay. Kathy says the painting is for sale, but you can email me and we can get back to you with the uh, price. Let's see what else. I like the blue in there. The blue is really making it pop. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to, because we're all finished with the painting, I'm going to turn around and show you something else. Well, we have two new DVDs out. And this is, uh, this, it's really, you can buy these individually or as a set. One of the, this is one of them, the, the uh, white owl flying in. And then we also have Catherine's rooster. These are DVDs on the website. Yeah, they're DVDs. You can see them on our website and get the price and all that. This is Catherine's. Is that cool? Uh, yeah, Catherine's painting. And with those two, they're sold individually or as a set. But if you buy the set, then you'll get this guy, my white egret, for free. There's no charge for this guy. And it comes with if you purchase the set. And they're, they're, they're about four hours each, those paintings. Yeah. They're four hours each, approximately. So they're really long. They're long ones. And let's see what else we got to share with you. Our oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, I've got. We have our e-course. It's our online course. 
and it's still available and you can go to our website to see all the detail about the cost of the online courses eight paintings and many of them are four hours long three or four hours long so they're they're quite detailed with a pattern that, with that this is all downloadable guys so go to our website jenkinsartstudio.com and you can see the price of the course and all that's involved with it what else do we have to see of course Catherine uh, is also uh, with our, her live shows on uh, YouTube. Anything else, Catherine? I'm, I might be uh, um, missing out on telling. I'm going to be doing my next live stream either toward the end of March or sometime in April. Okay, Catherine will be doing her live stream uh, okay. around March or April. The end of March. End of March. So uh, look for her. What are you going to paint? Do you know? Um, Maybe one of my TV shows, my past TV shows, um, Pink uh, English Roses. Oh, Pink, Pink and Mauve English Roses. Pink and Mauve English Roses. Boy, that, uh, shows. Catherine's style of painting is a little tighter than mine, but uh, uh, these English Roses, actually, is that's the one you did on TV? On TV. She yeah. did them on TV, and we only have 27 minutes, and we all said you shouldn't do it because it's too involved. Well, she got up there and did a beautiful job in, uh, in 27 minutes, so who knew? <laughs> Yeah. Year, oh, another that? year. Yeah, you already told me about that. Online. Yeah, e-course, online course is still available. And tell them our website. Yeah, our website, jakinsartstudio.com. Go there and you see a lot of stuff. Uh, our new DVDs I just showed you, uh, is on there. And don't forget to give us a like on our Facebook yeah. and, and YouTube pages. Yeah, give us a like on our Facebook YouTube pages. Right. Appreciate that. Well, there you are. Uh, I plan on doing uh, a lot more of these live shows uh, again because there's a lot of folks out there that just can't get out. Uh, they're shut-ins. They can't get out. It gives them a chance to ask questions and it gives me a chance to connect with these people where ordinarily I wouldn't be able to do that and they wouldn't be able to do it. So it's, it's a win-win for, for everybody out there. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, Catherine's going to come on uh, later weeks. and do more uh, shows. In a few weeks. My oh. Live stream. oh, you're going to do a live stream in a couple weeks? Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you. And I'm going to turn this over to the painting. So maybe you can take a peek at it. Let it stay on for a few seconds. I'm going to leave it there for just a little while. Maybe I can. Get in front of it, pink from it like to see. and I will uh, give those drippies a cha uh, chance to work. I'll kind of come up a little bit with it. Don't forget, it'll be posted permanently on the Facebook page if they missed it. Part I know. One and two. Yeah, part one and two will be on the Facebook page and on our YouTube page. Okay. Don't forget the drippies. Give it a shot. Take care out there. And I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to stop and smell the roses along the way. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.